what's up what's happening what's popping welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Desire. so i'm going to be showing you guys how i did these 36 inch butterfly locks on myself so let's get right into it so i did go ahead and part my hair first and since part of my hair is hard it did take me about two to three hours to do which is honestly a record y'all it's a record but i did part my hair into squares and there are 60 braids throughout my hair so what i used to braid my hair up was the edge booster edge control just to smooth down my roots and then i used a shining gem conditioning gel just to moisturize my hair a little more before i put it up but i do recommend a hair butter and then i did go ahead and order six packs of the pre-twisted 36 inch butterfly locks from amazon and this is in the color 1b and then each pack did come with 12 locks but i only used five packs since i did only have 60 braids but this is what they are looking like they are pre-looped and pre-locked and all that good stuff and then of course you need a crochet needle so I did already crochet most of the locks in my hair and then I'll just go ahead and show you guys how I did that on my left side. So all you do is just take the crochet needle and then you just wanna open it up and push it through the top of your braid at the roots. So when you are braiding your hair, you do not want to braid your hair too tight or too close to the roots just so you can um, pull the lock through easily without having any trouble. And then you want to take your lock and open up the small loop at the top just a little more. So all I did was just stretch it with my fingers and then put it in the needle. And you really don't have to close the latch because once you pull it through, it will close it on its own. But I did just go ahead and close it and then pull it through. Okay, so then once you pull the loop through then you want to go ahead and unhook the latch and then just take the end of your lock and then pull it through that loop just to create a knot at your roots um there's another way that you can do it is just taking your actual hair and pulling it through but i feel like that's not super secure so i just did it this way and then when you're pulling your hair through you don't want to be super rough on it because you don't want it to um, look too messy but honestly that's what i wanted um because i wanted more of a distressed look but this is what it is looking like um and then i'll just go ahead and show you guys that one more time so you just go ahead and push the needle through stretch out that loop and then hook the loop onto the needle and then just pull it through and then you guys see here it was kind of hard for me to pull that loop through because I did braid my hair super tight and close to my roots here but I did end up getting it through and then after I got it through I did go ahead and um, take the bottom of my lock and pull it through the loop Okay, y'all, so this is what my hair is looking like. Um, you can, of course, see the little braids. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I hide them. So what you want to do is take your crochet needle and you want to work in sections, especially if your hair is longer. But um, what you want to do is just go down like a few inches from your root, uh, down the lock and insert the crochet needle you want to open up the crochet needle before you insert it because if you don't it will get stuck so what you want to do is just move it up and you want to do this slowly and carefully because if you don't uh, you can stick the needle through the side and you don't want that to happen because then your braid um, will um, start to show so what you want to do is just work your way up the center of the lock until you get to the root
and then once you get to the top of your head then you want to go ahead and stick that needle out and then take your hair so take your braid and attach the bottom part of your braid into the needle you do not want to attach the middle or the top because when you're pulling it through it just won't go all the way through so i just went ahead and just attached the bottom of my braid and then once you do that you just want to go ahead and pull your hair through and then once you pull it through, you want to go ahead and unlatch it and you can still see my hair at the bottom and then you can still see my hair right there at the root. So what we're going to do is pull my hair at the bottom, pull it while pushing the locks up. That way it will hide my braid at the root. And then I'm just playing around with it just to make sure that it is really covered. And then this is what it is looking like. And then um, I will go ahead and hide the bottom of that braid since it is just a little bit left. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a longer piece of how I do the whole braid or a longer braid. So what I do is insert the needle um, down a few inches of the lock and then just work my way up. And then once I get to my root, I will go ahead and stick that needle out and attach the bottom of my braid into the needle. Once I do that, I will go ahead and pull my braid through. And then at the bottom, I will go ahead and pull my hair and push the locks, the lock up to cover that hair. And then to hide the rest of my braid, I'll just do the same thing. So I'll go a few inches below where my braid is sticking out, work my way up, and then I'll then I will stick the needle out where the braid is sticking out. So I'll go into the same hole and then attach the bottom of the braid and then pull it through. So you wanna go through the same hole because if you don't and you go like a little bit under, then you will see your braid um like in that inch that you went below where the hole was if that makes sense so you just want to make sure that you go through the same hole and then um, do the same thing attach the braid and then just pull it through and then pull your hair and then pull the lock hair up and then i just repeat this whole process until the whole braid is covered Okay, y'all, so this is what the lock is looking like. You can't see any of my braids. And so then I'll just go ahead and continue to do this process for the rest of my hair. And just like I said before, you do wanna be careful and kind of move slow when you're moving the needle up your lock, just so that you don't have like any difficulties hiding your um, braid. And then this is the final look y'all i absolutely love 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 this look like the hair is super lightweight um it's not heavy at all and it is 36 inches so i'm 5'3 and this hair basically touches like the back of my knees um so yeah so this hair it is super beautiful um I definitely say to have patience when you are doing this hairstyle because it, it didn't take me that long, but it took long enough, you know? But yeah, y'all, so I absolutely love this look. Um, it's definitely giving me vacation vibes. But yeah, so that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, comment down below, share, follow my social media, and most definitely subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.